Every year in my family, we dress up as a different theme costume. It started by accident, but over the years has become a lot of fun. In this video, I'm going to show you how I made our most recent Halloween costume, which is Pac-Man, Mrs. Pac-Man, and the ghosts. Obviously, if you have a dog, you can make some cherries too, but um, it's not necessary. You will need to, the following supplies to make these costumes. I purchased all of them from the dollar store. You'll need two pieces of foam board per ghost. That means they're a little sturdier than um, poster board. And four pieces of foam board per Pac-Man that you make. I made two, so I needed eight pieces total for that. You'll also need some tempera poster paints to paint the foam board in the colors that you need for the ghosts and the Pac-Mans if you choose to do that. You'll also need duct tape in white and black, and you may want some Mod Podge or glow-in-the-dark paint. I used the glow-in-the-dark paint, but I didn't use the Mod Podge because Halloween did not bring rain where I live. You'll also need the following tools, a yard or meter stick, a pencil, paintbrush, and scissors or a box cutter. I started with the box cutter, but eventually switched to scissors because it was just as easy. I looked up some clip art online, and then I ended up tracing my ghosts and Pac-Mans on the foam board. I then cut out um, my first ghost on the foam board and I used that ghost for subsequent ghosts. So I used that as a template to trace the rest of the ghosts out. The next step was painting the ghosts and Pac-Man. You can see from this picture that I used two foam boards and I taped them together to make my Pac-Man. And then I just painted the whole thing with the poster tempera paints. The next step was to let them dry and tempera paints dry very quickly so I was able to finish this project pretty quick. The boards did tend to curl up a little bit so I, um, after they were done drying I put them face down with some heavy books on them and they flattened out nicely. I used the different colors for my ghosts and then on the other side I made them navy. I'm kind of cheap, so instead of buying navy paint, I mixed some paints together and got kind of a darker color for the other side. Next, it was time to make the eyes. I just used duct tape for the eyes. The duct tape was actually very forgiving, so I could peel it off if I didn't like the placement of it. You can see here how I used the white and the black for the eyes. I did the same eyes on all of my ghosts. Here's a picture of all the ghosts with their eyes. On the back, I made the ghosts look like this, with just plain white duct tape. This was my first go with Pac-Man, and he looked a little bit too oval, so I ended up solving my problem by cutting him down a little bit so that he was more circular. Here he looks much better. I forgot to mention how I, or take pictures of how I attached my ghosts. I basically used duct tape again in black and I made little straps to connect the front and the back of the ghosts and then they just slid over our heads. Um, they worked really well and lasted all of trick-or-treating which was nice. You could use Mod Podge over this if you'd like um, to make it nicer I suppose. I also forgot to mention that I did put glow-in-the-dark tape over my white duct tape on the backs of their ghosts. It was pretty neat because they glowed in the dark when we were out, and it was just a really cool costume. We had a lot of nice compliments on our costume, and I think one of the favorite things for me anyway about this costume was that I got all six of our costumes for about $20, or maybe a little bit more, but not too much. Um, now, the next thing I have to do is just figure out what we're going to be doing next year. If you have any ideas on what to do, leave me a comment below. Thanks for watching. Oops, almost forgot to mention, that's my Miss Pac-Man. I just used um, the skinnier red duct tape for her lips.